So I skipped the last special event, which was the Remac, and apparently that car was actually pretty easy to get after you did some of the initial challenges. So I missed out a lot. And over that time, I saved up 6,755 tokens, and I'm thinking, you know what? I get really bored of this game when I'm not taking part in the special events, so I might as well just give it a shot. Even if this event wastes all my tokens, at least I am entertained, and you guys are thoroughly entertained, because I lose all my currency. <laughs> now forgive me, I just came out of a shower, okay? I know, I don't look that attractive in general, but I look even less attractive when I come straight out of the shower. I apologize. Personal hygiene is good. Let's play this event. I, I have some faith in myself, just not a lot. Because what cars? I can barely see through these visuals, but it looks like I'm going to need the other Lotus, which I have. That's the H2. This is the Zeruno. I don't have that. I don't have the Vantage. And I don't have the Civic Type R. That's not too good. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't do this event. Let's look at the Blueprint Packs, because I love these because they waste all my money. Wait a minute. Why is the featured pack so few blueprints? Wait, that doesn't add up because, you know, you know, why am I moving my arms like this? Generally, I expect like there's a slim chance to get at least 15 blueprints for one of the vehicles, but it's just four at max now, which sucks. And also, there's only one car's blueprints I actually need, which is the Zeruno. I already have the H2, I already have the Lotus, so I will skip these. Please don't don't buy these. Yeah, let's test out this car because I think we get to use it if I'm if I'm correct. Okay, this is six stars completely. Let me check out the official. Okay, there's only one official option. Ooh, that is kind of sweet. I don't know. I dig this car. I really do. I like the back so much. It's nothing like I've seen before. That's that is some unique stuff. I respect. Oh, okay. It's my it's my least favorite map. That's that's fantastic. So I get to show you guys how much of a terrible driver I am. Oh, I like that the rear light. Whoa, that nitrous is pretty cool. Let's see. Okay, nitro even at max is not the best. But it's not terrible. Oh, I took the long way! At this rank, drifting is fantastic. Speed is is some of the best that you're gonna ever get in this class, class B. It is it is Dude, narrating while playing the race is pretty hard, my guys. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, the drifting's fantastic. But that makes sense, because this is at 6 stars. I want to see what this car's like at stock. But in terms of max, this this would be a pretty pretty nice car. Although, I really wish the nitrous was slightly better, but it's, it's not terrible as far as things go. Actually, it's pretty terrible. It runs out fairly quick. It's not what I'd like to see in a Class B car, but, you know, it, it happens. There's no, there's no perfect vehicle. Okay, yeah, yeah, I like this car. I like the looks. I like the performance overall. I, I respect. Good job, Lotus. You finally made a car that I actually would consider buying if I was a wealthy individual. I didn't beat the 117, that's that's all I needed to do, I had one job and I didn't do that. So now I have to redo the race. I'm telling you guys, this map makes me look like a fool because I don't know how to do it. I, I don't know, I don't know. And I need to get two seconds faster, which theoretically shouldn't be too hard. I'm, I'm just bad at this map, that's it. But I will get first, uh, but I will beat the time if you guys subscribe and like, okay? I promise you that so hit that like button right now and if you're not subscribed please subscribe because that's the only way I will do well in this race I missed the ramp again bro I stop stop leave me leave me alone uh oh come on dude it's gonna be a miracle if I can beat that time which is not it's not hard for many people but um this seems to be a challenge for me specifically and I am I am slightly disappointed in myself you know yeah, this is bad. Wait, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, 117. 117. Was it 117? Come on. Come on. Let's go! Mm. Hold up. It takes 55 blueprints to one star this thing.
you gotta really think about it. You gotta be careful because this is a six star vehicle, which means you'll need hundreds of blueprints to get to that level, to that speed that we just saw in that clip. That is a hefty amount of blueprints, and I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. Because you would need almost all the featured cars, which if we if we go over again is the Lotus Elise, the H2, the Zeruno, the uh, Aston Martin Vantage, and the Honda Civic Type R, which some of those cars are not that easy to get. Yeah, like in the packs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they have these packs on, on sale. Ooh, they're separate purchases and are super expensive. I don't know. I don't have the Vantage. I don't have the Type R. That is a lot of consideration to do. My advice? The, the baseline for even doing this event is that you have those standard cars maxed out, which means the Lotus Evora is, is, is completely maxed out. The Lotus hopefully mostly maxed out. I don't know if the F-Type SVR is in it, but ideally that maxed out too. And really ideally you would have the Aston Martin Vantage. And if you don't have that, then the, the, the event will get exponentially more difficult. This is based on projections of the past because, you know, this event could be super easy for whatever reason, but I don't think so. Yeah. And think about it. These, these cars each require what, like, 50, 40 blueprints to, to just unlock. Oh yes, I need I need a final consensus. So this is how I feel. Now you can correct me in the comments section if I'm wrong, but I feel you need at least 3,500 tokens for this event. But not only do you need that, you need to have the Avora, the Elise, the SVR, ideally the Zeruno, ideally the, the Aston Martin Vantage. And even better, you don't have a good class B car. That would be a good reason to do this event. But if you look here, I have my Huracan. You know, it's it's maybe slightly slower, but I already have that at four star. It's it's doing pretty great. You know, I have the Apollo. That's that's almost as fast as, or maybe even actually it's fast. I think it's faster. Yeah, than the than the Avija, EV ha, EV, whatever the Lotus. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I don't know if the, I, I said a lot, but 3,500 tokens, have most of the cars, and don't have a good Class B car already. That makes it worth it to do this event. But if you already have a great Class B car, you really have to think about it. And, you, and if you don't have a lot of tokens and you don't have the required cars, really consider your choices. Because the worst thing that can happen is that you don't win anything from this event and you just lose a crap ton of tokens and credits. I think my best course of action, what I'm planning on doing at least, is attempting to not spend a single token until I have to, and at that point, I will really consider. Basically, yes, I have other options that maybe aren't as great as this car specifically, but they're close. And if it means I can save a couple thousand tokens to maybe save up for an even better event in the future, well, I think that might be worth it. Thank you for listening. Hope it wasn't too confusing. See you guys in the next video. Wah. Did I just end the video like saying wah? Jeez, man. Okay, bye.